Hello and welcome to GL Training. Today's training will be on how to set up an account monitor. So as always, I'm starting at the home area. You can always get home by clicking on the home icon. So what I'm going to show you today is how to set up an account monitor in Oracle General Ledger. An account monitor is something you can set up for either yourself or for uh, you to share with others. A way to kind of uh, monitor and set up a monitoring dashboard for accounts that you uh, want to do so for. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on general accounting and then I'm going to click on general accounting dashboard. So I'm at the general accounting dashboard and as you can see the first dashboard that shows up is my account monitor. Um, there's others here that'll be in a different um, training class but for the account monitor you can see I've set up um, a way to track uh, my revenue accounts and uh, actually my, my direct cost accounts so that I can see um, so I can see my activity and balances for um, my current uh, month, my same month last year and the change in the change percentage. So I'm going to show you how to set it up for yourself. So you click on view right here underneath account monitor. You click on account group and create. So the first thing you want to do is call this something. So I'm going to call it my revenues. And I'm just going to copy and paste that into my description. I'm going to say I want this to display in account monitor. And I'm going to set this up as my default for my time period. Um, the other thing here is dynamically derived ledger. If I wanted the, um, if I have multiple ledgers and I want this to run for whichever ledger I'm in, um, then I can do that. And you can always tell what ledger in by it'll be up on the upper left hand side of the screen. Uh, accounting period. Um, I'm going to just keep it as accounting period, which means month as opposed to quarter or year, and then. I want to compare it to prior year period today, last year. And the, I'm going to make the access private, meaning this is just for me, not to be shared with others. All right, so once you set that up, the next thing you want to do is click on the plus sign. And then you want to call each one of these something as well. So let's call this uh, revenues. I'm actually going to pick the ledger. If I didn't pick the ledger, then it would be dynamic, but I'm going to pick it. I'm going to hit search. And I want KUSD. Picking the US ledger. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my chart of accounts. So you can either pick um, parent values or child values for here. So the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick, I'm going to run this for all of, or not run it, but I'm going to set it up for all of company 400, which is professional. Um, and that's a parent value. That's the top one professional. So I'm going to click on it or choose 400, say, okay. Okay. 400, search. I don't think I selected it, so say OK to that. Cost center. For cost center, I'm going to choose all cost centers. For department, I'm going to choose all departments. For account, I want revenues, so I'm going to, I know that revenues is 40,000. So I'm going to type that in here. Hit search. Select it, say OK. Inner company, I want to choose all. Product, all. Delivery type, all. Project code, all. And then there's a couple things here. It's going to always display the change. That's fine. I'm going to leave it that way. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this uh, icon here, which is a duplicate icon. It's just going to duplicate that row. So the first row I'm going to leave is revenues. And the next row I'm going to call this one 
direct costs. And I'm the only one I'm going to change here is the account. So I know my direct costs are 60,000. Just typing that in, selecting it. So that's it. My account monitor is done. It's going to be called, I'm actually going to change this to my revenues and direct costs. And I have it set up for professional with my accounts. And I'm going to do a, a save. It's going to ask me if I want this to be the new default. I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to do a save and close. And I forgot to put the ledger in. So, so that's it. Now I'm going to do a save and close. So here it is. This is showing me um, uh, my revenues and my costs for the accounts that I chose. Don't worry about the numbers. This is a test environment. So, so there it is. And then once you do that, once it's set up, this will show up on your dashboard. Every since I made it the default, every time you go to your dashboard, that's the, whatever um, accounts you chose to show up are going to show up. And it has, as you can see, it has the the amounts for March 19, the amounts for March 18, and the per, the change and the percentage change. Then the other thing I can do here is I can click on any one of these things to drill in. So if I click, let's say, on the direct cost account, I want to see what's going on in there. I click on that. And it's going to show me kind of the next level down. And then if I wanted to continue to drill down on this, I can continue to drill down on this. For example, if I wanted to see continue to drill down on 61,000, It'll show me all the accounts underneath that. The other thing I can do is I can click on Show Graphs. And now it's showing me a nice graph of where the costs are. It's got a pie chart. And it's got a bar chart. So if I go to the screen, account 61500 has 47.7 percentage of the total. So nice little visual of your uh, accounts that you're monitoring. The other thing you can do is you can, instead of looking at this in account monitor, you can go to an interactive tool from here called account inspector. So account inspector is kind of like a pivot table that'll allow you to pivot the data. So here I can come in and it's going to default into this, which is the account on the coming down the rows and the, the month across the top. So you can see that this is a triangle. I could click on it. And after I click on it, it'll expand the, uh, to the children. And the other thing you do is you could pull in any of these dimensions over to either the rows or the columns. One thing to keep in mind here is you must have at least one value in the row and one value in the column. So you can't pull anything out. You have to pull it in first and then pull it out. So if I wanted the, uh, let's say the company in the column, I could take this and drag it into the column. And now I have company and um, counting period in the column with the accounts expanded. And then what I can do here is expand on the company. And I can keep expanding and expanding these companies as long as they have triangles. So now I'm getting deeper and deeper into the data. Um, so then the other, so any of these, val any of these dimensions here are available to do what I just did um, for that. Um, if you wanted to, um, for example, see, uh, Instead of period to date, you want to see period to date 
month to date and year to date. Um, there's another little trick to do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first going to first take out accounting period. So I want to put accounting period back over here. So now I got I got accounting period back over here, but you can still see it's um, still 19. It's still March 19. And then what I want to do is I want to change. I want to pull accounting or account type in here. So take this. And the first thing I need to do is, because I want amount type to expand to period to date, year to date, quarter to date in my report, I first want to search on just amount type first. So then what I want to do is bring amount type over into the column. And now amount type is in my column as well. And then if I expand on amount type, I can get you know, period to date, quarter to date, and year to date for all of the companies. So you can see how powerful this tool is. You can just keep going, just figure out you know how you want to show your data. So this tool takes a little bit getting used to. I would encourage you to play around with this um, and get to know this tool. Uh, the other thing you can do is at any point in time when you're here, any of these numbers that are blue, um, if you wanted to drill into more details, you could click on it. And it'll actually bring you into the inquiry on detail balances, which is a further way to drill down. And then it'll give you everything that made up that balance. Then on top of all that, you can go in to uh, the activity Anywhere where you see a blue number, you can click on that, and that'll bring you all the way into the transaction. So in this case, this brought me into the journal entry. If it was an AP invoice, it would have taken me to the AP invoice. Now I can click on this journal entry and see what's inside of this journal entry. So now this is the furthest I'm going to be able to go here, but this is going to show me the journal entry that was posted for um, that balance. So going back into Account Inspector, um, the other thing to note here is you don't need to come into Account Inspector through Account Monitor. There's a, a menu item directly to get into Account Inspector. So you can just come here and start from scratch. Um, it's just that Oracle provides you a way to get into Account Inspector from Account Monitor. So I'm going to say done here. So just to summarize, we've covered we covered how to set up an Account Monitor. We drilled into the um, the Account Monitor. We showed you the graphs, and then we showed you how to get into Account Inspector. Um, and then just another thing to note is it's not just the account that you can drill into. You can drill into any of these things, any of the numbers that will bring you to the detailed account balances, any of the uh, chart of accounts values. You can drill into the company code. It'll give you the same thing that I showed you for um, account, only this time it, it gave you the details of which company codes have those. And then if I didn't want to bother with Account Inspector, like I showed you the drill through into the uh, balances, you could do that right here. I could drill into this number right here for company 420, and I don't have to bother to go into Account Inspector. If I just want to say, what is this number, I could just click on that. It'll bring me back to the same inquire on detail balances, just like I showed you before through Account Inspector. But this time, I'm just going directly from Account Monitor and then same thing, I could drill into any one of these balances and it'll bring me back into the transaction. So you can see this is from a conversion file. So if you click on that, it'll bring you back into the transaction. So that's it. That is setting up an account monitor and 
drilling into account inspector and drilling back to the detail balances. Thank you very much.